Hi, it's me again with Corel Gold Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this. It's actually a roof plan for a barn. And he first said that all the lines won't print. And then some people are having trouble. If you look, this is his page. His page is huge. His page is tall. It's uh, 731 inches tall. This is outside the page. So it's not going to, you know, if we do a rectangle and he draws in black hairline, that's the page size. Anything outside the page isn't going to print. And people are having trouble opening it because it's huge. I mean, it's, it's humongous. We need to put it on a page that's eight and a half by 11 to print it out normally. Look how little a piece of paper is compared to the drawing. Now, a lot of crazy stuff goes on if we try to reduce it to that size. If we take everything and change it to eight, not only is the text unreadable, but the lines are, if we could move the text, you know what, I'm going to do that another way. Let me go edit, select all text. And for just a second, I'm going to delete all the text. Now let's take these same lines and select it all and reduce it to eight inches. The lines are so thick you can't read it because they're not, one, they're not drawn to scale to object or scale to size. So with our text and also if you if you did happen to able to reduce it, I mean, it's so far, it's, it's, so tro it's so big, I'm having trouble doing it. This number right here is 503. If we reduce it any parallel dimension tool is being reduced, so it's reducing itself, which is a good thing. So the way around that Is hit F4 and get everything on the page. I'm going to select the entire thing. I'm going to go to object and convert it to a curve. Then look what happens when I make it eight inches. I do have my ratio locked. I missed some lines. You can see there. I'm having trouble. It's so big. I can't even. I can't even zoom out. On my laptop anyway. So we're going to try to grab all the lines this time. Go ahead and convert it to a curve again just to make sure. And we're going to make it 8 inches. Look at it. The lines are still, the, the fonts are good. The measurements are good. But our lines are still not good. So what we can do there is go to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to you know, select all, well, I'm not going to select all objects. I'm just going to select everything by hand. I'm going to select all the lines. And you can see it's got different outlines. I'm going to go here and scale with object. Say, okay. Now we're going to grab everything again. And make it eight inches. Look at that. I can turn my page to landscape mode. Group this together, control G and hit P to put it in the center of the page. I put it all on a sheet of just regular copy paper with room to spare. I mean, I didn't have to make it that long but I can always expand it out. Now, it's not to scale, and there's no scale measurement. You know, like one inch equals 100 inches, and that could be done. But people that are, they're not going to go off this model, you know, anyway. And if they did, you know, like, I think I helped those same gentlemen uh, want to, like, a floor pan put uh, different pieces of equipment in. You know, still got the square footage, Still got all the measurements, 
and this is, you know, 510 or 503 inches, even though now it really is only less than five inches. Now, the biggest thing about the reason he wanted me to do this was be able to export it. And I've already exported again, so I'll tell you what, we'll start a new page. I'm going to go to import, and I'm going to type in barn PDF Doug 3. I've played with it a couple of times and import it. Curves. Don't move this cursor. Just kind of put it up the top and hit. Now, it looks big because my page size is 40 by 28. So if we make it 8.5 by 11 and hit P, and it's not grouped together, so control G, and then hit P, and actually turn our page to landscape and print it out, everything's right. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.